Hi everyone, uh, this lesson this week is on data tags. Uh, every engine has a data tag, and without that data tag, the engine would be considered an unserviceable engine. The engine needs to have a tracking history, so that data tag helps to identify the engine and all of the maintenance that has taken place on that engine will be tracked through component cards, uh, and, and that way we know exactly the, the life limits of a lot of the components that have been installed and the history of that engine. All right, so today we're gonna go around and look at the different locations for those data tags on the engines and the information that will be on the data tag. Some of the information that will include the model number, the serial number, and the actual output power of that engine, maximum power it can produce. And this is the identifier that will help you find the difference between the engine data tag and other components on those, that engine is the fact that it will show the maximum power of the engine. So follow me around the hangar and at the end of the lesson, you will be identifying different models and serial numbers on data tags. Okay, our first aircraft here is the B0105. As you can see here, there's the tail boom for it. There's the fuselage for it. B0105 donated by our lovely Coast Guard here in Canada. So I just wanted to show you the first data plate. We want to open the cowling. Be careful with these clamps. You don't want to hit them. And I'll just do an example here because I don't want you to do this. Okay, hear that? You're going to damage the fastener. Okay, so don't do that. We want to catch it with our finger so that it doesn't uh, open up too quickly. Right. So here is there, most cowlings will have some sort of support to prevent them from blowing in the wind because you're going to need to do your engine runs. So you can open this up and check for leaks. So I know this is a bit of an introduction. So opening the cowling here pretty easily uh, and you look right in here and there's the data tag there. It's going to be on the engine somewhere. So the data tag is on the engine and on this particular model it's here on the right hand side. And because it's a twin engine, it's really difficult to see the data tag for the left-hand engine because it's on the right-hand side, which happens to be right in the middle of the aircraft. So that one's a little bit tougher to see, but it is there. Um, so this one here on the right-hand side on the Allison uh, Rolls-Royce 250. Okay, this one here, I'm gonna to try to duck down so you can see it. There's a whole bunch of data tags all over this engine. You can see one here. You can see another one here. There's another one back here. Another one down here. But overall, which one is the actual engine identifier? And this one here, this is on the Sikorsky S76. It's right here, right? And that's where you'll find the data tag. Of course, it's a twin engine aircraft. I hold this up like this. The data tag on this one is right there. Need a flashlight and a mirror to get to it. But it's there. I'll take a picture of that one. Of course, we've got a King Air here. Follow me and we'll go take a look and see if we can find that engine data tag. So we're going to go over here to the left hand engine. And there has been some work that's been done here. So in through this hole, here is where you'll find the data tag. And I'm going to see if I can just move us a little bit closer. And right in here, you can see that the data tag's in there. I'm going to take a picture of that for you and post it online. All right, this is the Bell Kiowa. Also has the Rolls-Royce 250 engine in it. And so this one's pretty easy to find. It's going to be in the same spot as the B0105 right here on the side. This is Tim. He doesn't have a data tag, but he puts out a lot of power. This is the engine that you would find in the MU2. It's outside and I'm, I don't want to be cold. So came to the engine shop. We've got another one in here. I don't want to give it away exactly what the model is, but it's from the MU2 and the data tag is located right on the top here of the engine 